Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so I am going to try to be as quick and efficient as possible with this video. I am not going to like go into great detail about every single item that I currently have in my makeup collection, but I just wanted to show you guys sort of how much I have left after my last few declutters over the last few years. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and dive through and see what is currently left in my makeup collection. By the way, this is the part that you guys don't see when I am filming because my camera sits boop, right there. Um, so these are the two big windows where the light comes streaming in. Um, I really like this particular setup for getting ready because it allows me to sort of have everything at my fingertips. I do really like to keep this area nice and clean on top. I used to keep my makeup just like sitting out, but I have found that it feels a lot less cluttered and stressful to me to have things in drawers <laughs> and sort of neatly divided by category. So these are my quote unquote everyday makeup drawers. There's also some other stuff in there, but um, it's mostly the first two drawers that I have my everyday makeup and I pull the bulk of it from here. So this is the Alex 9 drawer. This is the Alex 5 drawer. You can find this whole situation at Ikea, just like everybody else. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through. So here in this very top drawer is what I have left of my quote unquote drugstore eyeshadows. You can see there's not a lot because I, I don't really like drugstore eyeshadows anymore. I think that I have definitely found a preference for formulas and um, most of the drugstore eyeshadows that I have tried or used in the past just don't live up to the formula that I care for. So. I have eliminated a lot of things. What I have left are things that I really do enjoy. So I do really like these Essence eyeshadows, the um, domed eyeshadows that they have. Although in all fairness, I haven't bought these in quite some time. This is my favorite lash glue. When I do use false lashes, it's the Duo. Um, I have some false lashes back here. I don't wear them very often. Um, but when I do, I have them available. I have some empty Viseart Theory palettes up here, and then these makeup spatulas are genius. My friend Susan actually gifted me these, and I use them quite frequently now. They're super easy to um, get like excess product out of bottles and even tubes if you cut them open. So um, I will find these and link these down below for you because I think they're pretty genius. By the way, a lot of these little organizers were just things that I bought either at the dollar store or at Walmart. I mean, at most, I think these were like 50 cents or a dollar each. So pretty inexpensive, but that's what's left there. These are what is left of my quote unquote higher end eyeshadows. So I've got my beloved Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. The These are the um, Omega eyeshadows have to keep those they're amazing there are some um like smashbox cream shadows back here these are some sephora eyeshadows that i just really liked from a long time ago these victoria's secret ones i really should get rid of but they're one of the few things that i struggle to get rid of because they just remind me of a really fun time in my life when i pick these up I know it's a stupid thing to be sentimental about, but anyway. And then also some NARS. Is NARS still doing these? These are the um, dual intensity eyeshadows. I don't even know if these are, I don't purchase from NARS anymore because they're no longer cruelty free. But um, anyway, these, I still love them. But yeah, so this is kind of what is left of higher end eyeshadows. There's some Lorac singles here, a couple of MAC from back in the day. A couple of loose eyeshadows from Bare Minerals, but I have a feeling these will also go away after next year. So there we go. Down here I have my beloved brow powder. So these are all the backups of my Tarte Amazonian Clay brow powder in 
gray. This is being discontinued from what I can tell. So there's that. I have two little mascara samples here that, I don't know, I just haven't reached for. There's a few pigments here. These would be um, eye, eyeshadow primers, uh, liquid eyeshadows, eyeshadow sticks. So this is all that I have left. I don't really have any other um, eyeliners in here because I really do just like to use powder for my eyeliner. I think it just it stays put a lot better. By the way, Penny has decided to join us just like in yesterday's video. If you missed yesterday's video, it was a declutter. Here I just have some setting sprays and SPFs. So um, this is the Zinc It Over. This is really my favorite for on the go, the Kate Somerville Uncomplicated SPF 50. Some people ask me how I reapply my sunscreen when I already have makeup on my face. This is how. <laughs> This is what I take with me when I work outside at weddings. Um, this isn't the greatest because it does have chemical sunscreens and I do prefer more mineral based sunscreens. However, this one has basically saved me from any burns when working outside in 90 degree heat. So I continue to repurchase. Also, here is the Seriously Fab Zinc It Over. This is a mist, um, but this is a mineral SPF 25. So if you're not into the chemicals, enjoy that. <laughs> um, it's a makeup forever. This is from like back when I did makeup <laughs> professionally. Um, I used to love this. Also, I have this left over from back in the makeup days, Fix Plus. I don't know. Let's just kind of keep it for whatever. These are what is left of my blushes. This is the collection that I whittle down the most. I'm gonna get down on my knees here. Um, ooh, old lady, creaky knees. Um, this used to be an outrageous collection. There's still a lot more in here than needs to be, and there's a couple things that I'm working on letting go of. <laughs> Couldn't do it this go around, but I know by next January I will be ready to move on, because. It seems like every year I get more and more comfortable with letting things go that are no longer enjoyable. So that is what's left there. These would be um, highlighters. You can see I don't have a huge highlighter collection. My favorite, honestly, are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders followed by the Becca um, Pressed Shimmering skin perfectors. Um, I have a couple of bronzers here. Everybody's generic favorite. The butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, but this one from Laura Geller is really nice too. Then I have some blush palettes. So um, uh, there's Tarte in here. Th these are some of my remaining MAC blushes that I used to use back in the day with clients. Um, I actually had several of these Z, Z palettes. Um, I've gotten rid of quite a few. These are the ones that I still like. So here they still are. Back here, these used to be my favorite go-to. Um, well, this, just these are all the same. <laughs> this is the NYX a Powder Blush in the shade Taupe. This is what I used to use exclusively to contour my cheeks with. And when I found out it was being discontinued, I obviously purchased a lot. These are all sealed. <laughs> I have way too many. Um, I'm never going to be able to use all these because quite frankly, I like the sculpting powder from Kevin Aquan in the shade medium even better now. Um, but I still give these out to girlfriends from time to time when they come over and they ask me about contouring their face and stuff. I'll just come in here, grab one and give it to them and it's brand new. So anyway, that's what's left in there. <laughs> These are, um, what would you call this drawer? So these are powder foundations, setting powders, uh, primers. There's SPF back here. Um, I have quite a few of these because whenever I see this on sale anywhere or I have a coupon code like the Derm Store for 25% off, um, I will buy the total eye from Color Science. I, th I have three here. <laughs> It's too many, but I do go through them fairly frequently, so there's that. Um, I have backups of my beloved Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. Um, yeah, 
I use the shade fair. So there's what are there four back there. Yeah, there's four. So um, you got some primers in here. Like this Ren one is fantastic. Uh, actually, Penny from Pensma Skincare gave me this to try out, and I have yet to try it. It's the Kevin Aquan foundation balm she said it might work for me because she has really dry skin and it did not work for her so I'm gonna give this a go um I just need to pull it out but anyway so powder foundations over here that kind of stuff that's what I have left there and then down here are what is left of my lip collection which uh oh we're caught where are we caught oh geez okay there we go <laughs> So this is what is left of my lipstick lip gloss collection. There used to be well over a hundred um, more <laughs> lipsticks and glosses in here. I know that's embarrassing. I'm I'm aware. I've gotten rid of most of the drugstore stuff because again, I just, I have found formulas that I like better personally. Um, so. The, this is basically what I'm left with. So there's the NARS Audacious lipsticks here, which I still think are some of the best, but again, I don't purchase from NARS anymore. Sorry, I'm trying to study this um, camera here. Um, the Buxom full-on glosses and full-on lip creams are my all-time favorite. There are quite a few glosses back here that I am still using. Although there's a couple that I am leaning towards decluttering probably towards mid-year. And there's some lip balms back there. So, And then, you know what the problem is? These guys, they're too tall. <laughs> oh, there's the lid to that. Okay, I'll come back to that. Uh, there's nothing down here because I don't need this drawer anymore. So there's that. You guys have seen these drawers in my... Um, everyday makeup collection shop my stash videos so these are the things that I'm currently using I keep the eyeshadow palettes that I have pulled and eyeshadow singles down here so again these are everyday makeup products that I pulled out down here I keep the lip sticks lip glosses that I have for my everyday makeup drawer oh that's dirty clean sponges dirty sponges lip balms and here is where I'm actually storing what is left of my eyeshadow palette collection <laughs> I have really done in my eyes a fantastic job of getting rid of a lot of eyeshadow palettes and passing them along to my nieces there are still a couple more in here that I could definitely stand to declutter but I'm just not ready quite yet but I've gotten rid of a ton. Like, there's really not much left in here. Um, what is left are things that I have recently used that I do enjoy. My favorites are the Viseart's. They are many deep here. I I love these Viseart eyeshadows, you guys. They're gorgeous. Fantastic. I also have my Theory palettes here. And then, obviously, you guys are aware of my, like, holy grail ground pro one which is incredible so that just stays in there all the time but yeah so there's some Anastasia in here some Lorac, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, um, Becca this is the last I believe Too Faced palette that I have left the natural matte here's another Viseart palette the liaison palette um, there is uh, let's see the Lorac pro palettes back here a Marc Jacobs Zoeva. This is a limited edition holiday thing here from Bare Minerals. But yeah, that's it. That's that's what's left of my eyeshadow collection here. Um, these are my Lorac Mega Pros down here. But I feel pretty good about this. I think that I have decluttered quite a bit, and it makes me feel really good, quite honestly. So. A lot of those palettes have uh, um, found a good home with my nieces, and I love that. So, yeah, you guys, that is what's left of my makeup collection. Again, there's still a few more things that I could stand to get rid of. In fact, <laughs> as I was getting ready to film, I pulled two more things that I need to um, get rid of. So here is a Sephora and Pantone Universe. This is when Marsala was the color of the year. 
Um, but there's some highlighters in here as well as some blush. And then this is a Wander Beauty. Um, it's like a blush and glow stick thing. I don't really use cream blushes very often, so that is just that's just going to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that along to my nieces. I'm just going to sanitize it and I'm sure they will enjoy using that. So there you guys have it. Um, that's what's left of my makeup collection. I feel pretty good about it. And yeah, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Again, this whole setup here and yeah, I do sit on an exercise ball for those of you that sometimes ask. There is your answer. That's what I sit on. I have forever sat on an exercise ball. I just really like the way that it feels. So anyway, um, have a great rest of your day, guys, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.